Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Charles Young again, also known as Open Thoughts. You know, check me out on my page. You know, it's African Awakenings. If you can spell it, <laughs> I know it's a tough name. I can't change it. YouTube is getting strict on them. So, um, but I wanted to talk about something that uh, is kind of, you know, personal. It, you know, kind of is personal to me and maybe personal to you. Um, I want to talk about family. Now, my dynamic of family is a lot of people feel that. Um, I, for instance, I'm a very family person. And I really, you know, care about my family. I care about the individual around me. But a lot of times you got to understand that family is not always going to be there for you. And family is your worst critic. Um, I have an issue with not, not my family, but, you know, just issues about family is that why is it that your family is such your harsh critics? That why are they not the ones that support it? Like, my thing I don't understand is your family members, you tell your family members about your goals and dreams and what you want to pursue and all your talents. And then they tell you it's not true or they try to um, turn you down on it. Or, you know what I'm saying? While they turn on the TV and watch American Idol and they're rooting for somebody else's success, it doesn't make any sense. Um, you hear you could have the most talented person sitting right next to you and you decide to put them down and don't cherish and don't support their goals and dreams. But you go and watch um, TV all night watching everybody else's goals and dreams. And then you look at them like, oh, my gosh, their stories are so amazing. And then I'm trying to build a story right in front of you. It doesn't make any sense. You know, family, you got to really understand is that, you know, you have these talented people. If somebody comes to you with your goals and dreams of what they want to be, help them man. support them, support them like crazy. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. You keep waiting on on stuff. And it's, you know, for an individual and you could be killing their dreams. A child wants to be a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Let him believe he can be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You never know. He might become that and be making five million dollars every day just being on the shoe. You never know, you know, another thing is stop killing your kids, man. Like, you got to stop. Stop sending them to these insane asylums, a.k.a. these academic places. These kids, some kids are not built for school. Some kids are not built for school. You be sending your sending your kid there, and the parent and the teacher sending reports back and forth telling about your child is doing this and that, and you get mad at the child. Well, sometimes you don't understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And he, he knows it. if your child is so... Um, I believe if your child is so expressive in class, um, I wouldn't say bad, but so expressive in class and, you know, so eccentric or, you know, so wild, as they might say, know that your child probably has more potential than what you what you, what the classroom is going to give them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times your kid can be very intelligent and be dumbed down by the schooling system. You know, I believe that should there be a, a academic uh, education system um, to everybody? Yeah. But do I believe everybody's going to be successful there? That's like I said before, I don't know. Who knows? You know, so my thing is, but back to, you know, back to touching on family is it that family, if you have a talent, if you have a success story in your family, if a person wants to pursue something out of the box, support them, support them. Stop saying, stop giving them about your ideas of how you tried something and it didn't work. Stop giving them all the stuff that they don't need. They have their own goals. You may not have been successful, but that individual may have, may be. Don't kill his dreams because you didn't make it. Understand what you're telling to your family members. Stop killing it. What are they, 14 or 40? Stop killing their dreams. Stop being a dream killer. Every time they come up to you with an idea, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. Hey, let them perfect their craft. And stop killing them and support them. That's how you. That's how we build, and that's just how we grow as a family. Because a lot of family members get mad about the fact that you don't spend time with them or you don't want to show them once you get big. Well, think about it. When I brought this idea to you, you thought it was a bunch of crap, and now look at me. And now I don't want to have anything to do with you. So, family, uh, this is just a uh, this is a public service announcement. You know, if you have a success story in your family, if you have it. If you hear somebody saying something, they're going to do something creative. Don't turn them down because you're going to sit there, turn their idea down. Now they're 40 and then you bring it back up to them. They're going to want to kill you. Let's just be honest. They're going to want to kill you. So if you know somebody is doing something in your family, you know they're passionate about it, support them. Support them and stop with this other stuff. Stop putting them down. Stop this family warring and beefing because you don't like them. Support your family because that individual will come back to you and help you and, and show you, hey, I love, I'm thankful for your support. 
Why do you think these rappers move their mothers in? Because their mother supported them. But don't don't bring anybody else in. Their cousins that they've been around, they've always been talking trash about them. So, you know, look at it this way. If somebody comes up to you with a story, don't turn them away. Say, your story is great because this individual on TV is doing it. Instead of saying, I don't believe that's going to work and while you watch an American Idol and rooting for somebody else. So, you know, here I go. I had to drop that on you. You know, a lot of people need to know this. And I'm I'm be the tough one to say it. So, thank you. You know, you stay funny. Stay on my page. I uh, like it, man. You know, I appreciate all your time uh, and support into my videos. Um, you know, stay funny. Stay happy. And always, always stay you. Peace.